what's up everyone welcome back to another gta online video my name is saints fan and today we're taking a look at the drip feed content from this newest update there is a drip feed there is a handful of vehicles there's a handful of little game modes and stuff as well as a little tease as to what we're getting during the halloween event so if you're wanting to know what we're going to be getting over the next couple of weeks and months this is the video for you now of course the dlc just came out yesterday Honestly, it's not that big of a DLC. It is a summer DLC, so that is to be expected. But the missions, they, like there wasn't a cutscene or anything. So it was definitely on the smaller side of things, a smaller scale. And that is what you should be expecting with the drip feed. Honestly, this is going to be a very, very slow drip feed. Like I mentioned, we got some hints about the Halloween event. So whatever this drip feed, however long it's going to last, it at least is going to be going until October 31st. And we only actually have seven vehicles being drip fed. Again, there's a couple of other things, game modes and stuff, but we only have seven vehicles. Two of them are literal bicycles. So really only five new vehicles being drip fed from now until at least October 31st. It's going to be slow. It's going to be painful. But on the good side, on the bright side, I guess, GTA 6 is definitely going to be getting announced at some point during this. So hopefully that'll take over some stuff. But the vehicles. Starting with the vehicles, we actually have one of the new Buffaloes. This is the Bravado Buffalo EVX. It's an electric vehicle. And um, I, we don't know the prices just yet. I don't think I will update that. Whenever I get mods working, we can take a look at these in the uh, the actual game and take a look at some of the customization and stuff. But as far as pictures and stuff, you know, that's, I guess, basically what we're taking a look at today. Yeah, this is the new Bravado Buffalo. Then we have this little, like, rally-looking car, almost like a big RC type of car. It's the Pnod La Coruse. Probably completely butchered that name, but it is an interesting looking vehicle. Then we have the Albany Brigham, literal Ghostbusters vehicle. This actually does tie in with the Halloween event, but that is a Ghostbusters uh, station wagon. Probably going to cost $7 million, knowing Rockstar. We also have the Hot Ring, the Bravado Hot Ring Hellfire. So another uh, Hot Ring vehicle. And then we have the new aircraft, the weaponized Buckingham Kanata. And by the way, these are not the order. I don't think the order's really been figured out just yet. Again, once we figure all that stuff, I'll make another video that you guys know to know specifically like when to expect these things. But yeah, this is the other new aircraft and uh, you got a taste of it in the missions, but those are the only vehicles that are being drip fed. The other little, uh, I, I don't even know if you'd call them vehicles, but they're bicycles. We have this. This is called the Inductor. And then we have basically the same thing. It's another variant, the Junk Inductor. These, I believe, are e-bikes. So it's a little bit different. I guess you don't have to mash the A button on these. You just hold it down and go. But it is a bike. It isn't a vehicle. There's not going to be much customization on it. And you're probably not going to have too much fun with this because like the only fun bike is the stunt bike these don't really look that stuntable so that's it as far as vehicles go in this drip feed again we have to wait until october 31st probably to get one of those vehicles that the ghostbusters vehicle so it's gonna be a long time we do have a couple of other things though and people are finding more stuff as as they just progress deeper and deeper into the game files but the few things that people have found we have a new adversary mode coming out it is an assault on the Cayo perico it basically just sounds like the Cayo perico heist but in adversary mode form one team attempts to storm the island while the other team tries to stop them so that should be pretty fun this also comes with new trade prices. I guess the Squatty is going to be used in this adversary mode, as well as the Manchez Scout. So you can see there are going to have some new trade prices for those vehicles. So don't buy them until that adversary mode comes out, I guess. We also have armored trucks returning. So it's only taken them, you know, eight years for this to come back into the game. And we're on the original PlayStation 3s and Xbox 360s. But we're finally getting them back. And this is a clip from Fluffball on Twitter. 
uh, they work normal i think they pay like twenty five thousand dollars, but these are going to be something that's going to be part of the drip feed there was also and i will just like give a, a quick spoiler one warning potentially if you don't want to be spoiled about what's happening during the halloween event there's actually quite a bit it almost sounds like there's going to be a halloween month event and it's going to be throughout the entire month we'll take a look at some pictures here these are some of the pictures found in the game files you can see alien stuff alien easter eggs literal easter eggs uh alien boxes i guess there's also the actual this giant facility which apparently is the fort zancudo bunker so finally we're getting the fort zancudo bunker that's cool there's also this uh t-shirt that is alien related and i'm thinking maybe because there's like a, a text some code on it Maybe this is part of the Chiliad Easter egg, the Chiliad mystery that people have been wanting an answer for. So maybe that's part of that. But one of the new modes coming in this Halloween event is a ghost hunters mode, which again, I think is going to tie into that ghost hunter or the ghost buster vehicle calling all ghost hunters. It's basically you go around taking pictures of ghosts, much like last year you took pictures of the UFOs. So that's going to be kind of cool, kind of fun. There's a little special easter egg i don't want to spoil too much obviously we'll wait closer until october before we take a deeper deeper look at all of this stuff but there's also some other cool easter egg things happening in this halloween event we have new like crazy animals that will attack you i guess and again shout out to fluffball on twitter for all these uh videos but yeah these crazy like this is a freaking boar that'll come after you i guess so that'll be interesting we also have ufos returning so in addition to the animals to the ghosts ufos are still going to be here they still will abduct you and i think that's actually part of uh the the screenshots we saw they will abduct you and then like this clip you'll actually end up on a table for a second so kind of cool kind of fun and here's just an alternate view same thing happens another one abducts you puts you on a little table uh, I, I, I don't know if there's going to be like a answer to this. Like, can we finally like return the, the, you know, can we get them back? I don't know what's going to happen here. I think people are still trying to figure out exactly how it's all going to work, but this does look pretty cool. And then the final thing I forgot to mention this, uh, with the other random stuff, there's going to be these junk bicycle time trials. So that'll be another drip feed portion of the dlc and uh that's it as far as what we know so far again we don't really know the prices or the order for the vehicles just yet if there's any more of this halloween stuff maybe that'll come out over the next couple of days and i'll make another video to let you guys know about that but the drip feed there is a lot of content there's not a lot of vehicles though but we are at least again going all the way until the end of october so that is gonna be a long long drip feed with 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 basically five vehicles and then a couple of other little smaller things maybe they're gonna do a vehicle a month i don't know but anyway that's gonna do it for the video once the mods get updated and i can access the vehicles in the game we'll take a look at them we can also probably take a look at some of this alien stuff in game and single player with mods and hopefully by then we'll know like prices and the release order so i can tell you guys when specifically you'll know you know the vehicles are gonna be coming out anyway that's gonna do it for the video thank you guys for watching please drop it a like if you didn't enjoy subscribe for more gta content and as always i'll see you guys in the next one